I'm you in the beginning. Luke is, he's my next door neighbor. He's moving in. And he, he's, he's just like, he thinks he's gonna die. He went to the doctor and the doctor said he was gonna die. And, and, I, would, and I was mute because my dad left me when I was like four or five. And then um, I became not, not you because one time I think um, I touched the wall and because Esperanza told me to touch the wall, it was like magical. So I thought, I just thought in my head. So I started talking. Then when I found out he was gonna die because I was tape recording him, I always tape record. When I found out he was gonna die, I went mute again. It was just so fun, six weeks in a row. It was just amazing filming with the cast. And Mark, the director, and Albert, the writer, all of them were so fun. I play a woman called Dawn Stupik, who, she's, a, she's kind of a broken character in the beginning of the story. Her, her daughter uh, doesn't speak because her husband left her and hasn't made contact. And uh, uh, she gets kind of inspired by this cute guy that moves in next door. And very, very slowly, these two sort of fragile, broken characters connect. And it's kind of a very sweet love story and everything she's part of. You know, I play Father Salazar as a priest, and it's very straight, you know, and really kind of grounded and very, very humble and very sensitive. I don't know where that came from. It's called acting, remember? But I want to talk to a priest who was that way, so. And I found that peace in, in him, which is nice. And, and I went into the church and it got cold. It's like a little bit of exorcist, the dog barked. And, <laughs> yeah. I want to know, and it's a load of question, where'd you get the one take Wilson nickname? That's one of those things that's come back to haunt me. It's like something I would say at the end of the day when you know everybody wants to finish working. I've said, like, I guarantee I'll get this in one take. And Is it true? No, it's not. And it rarely ever happens. But, you know, it's like crew people are hungry. They just want to finish the day. So I just try and rally everybody and tell them, I guarantee I'll get it in one take doesn't ever happen but now it's like people said like so we hear you call yourself one take Wilson it's like yeah it's like giving myself a nickname like the greatest or the king or something it's not very <laughs> it's uh, yeah how is it being here at the Sundance Film Festival and being involved in independent film I've, I've, I love being I mean you know I won my Oscar on an independent film so I'm incredibly indebted to independent filmmaking. I'm a huge fan of independent filmmaking. I think the industry is really changing. It's been changing for so many years. Uh, you can't ignore it anymore. It's it's there It's and it's great to be able to be a part of it and, and to utilize it to tell stories that might never see the light of day. How old do I look to you, James? I don't know. That is not the right answer. At one point in the script, did you realize this was the script you had to be a part of? Pretty much when Charlize called me, you know, and said that she wanted me to do it. And, and I knew, even before I read it, uh, you know, that, that, that uh, it was probably going to be something of great quality. She makes really good choices, and, and it was, and the role was really complex and, 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 um, and challenging, and uh, it was just such a great script, well-written piece, so, so I, I, I jumped at it right away. Since my character is uh, fatherless, she has this imagination to create her father figure, and I think because he's the first one to actually step in and take that role, and he gives her a lot of love and attention, she starts to love him.